How you doing, Beth? Good. Hi, everyone. I have, a, I have a tree in my way, but I'm good. This is a home goods purchase, just to make, just to feel a little Christmassy. I feel so Christmassy. This is the Christmassy. final, and also when you stay near this, you just get glitter on you. Good. So anyway, That's good for um, that. So, um, hey, everyone. This is the final Live Hi. of Five of 2015, and we have an oh awesome my guest, God, so Javier good. Munoz of uh, Hamilton, but we're going to get to him in a minute. Mm -hmm. Um uh, how, how's everyone doing? Hey, is what's everyone up? ready for Christmas? Oh my gosh, when you say Hamilton, oh my people God. come out of the woodwork. Yeah, look at all the Hamilton people. Mm -hmm. Um, so hi Italy, hi Texas, hi everyone. Hello, Woot. Uh, uh, how's everyone doing? How are you doing? Did you get your shopping done? I yeah, didn't. no. I think no. I might shop tonight. Shop it. Um, shop, it. shop online. Uh, Holland. Wow, even Holland's tuned in. Holland. For Javi. Can we call you Javi? Um, Hobbleton. Okay. Hobbleton. Wait, speaking of Christmas. Yes. Beth, you have lined up an awesome feature to go up on the site on Christmas Day. We're not gonna I'm not telling you what it is. It's though. a teaser though. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna launch an Ask a Star with a really special, special person that you guys are gonna be excited about. Christmas on Christmas morning. Christmas morning. Before you run down to see what Santa brought you, check this Broadway.com. Is, this it's is a better your, gift this than is anything. Your, Santa this is the only present you. we got. It's all we uh, got. It's so all that we got. so you have that. And we we actually were standing in the rain today because it was a rainy New York day. And yeah. um we made little videos announcing our top five shows of the year and our top five performances of the year. Yes. And we did it in the rain. Because so we like to when do you that. watch that video, pay attention to my hair. We're like ducking, we're hair. ducking raindrops. But we wanted to do it outside. It was nice. It was nice to be outside. Was it? I don't know. Okay. Uh, what That's else? Your is idea happening? wasn't it? Yeah. So we did that. We have. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. So we're not doing Love at Five again until Monday. January fourth. Fourth. I keep saying third. Fourth. Hi, fourth. Poland. Wow. What? Really international crowd Amazing. today. Amazing. Finland. Finland. Are people just saying different countries now? And they I mean, all they know all Sweden. the Hamilton raps. I bet they know the whole album by heart in all, every country. I would like to hear it in Sweden. Um. Uh. So also, so we have some cool stuff going up on the site over the holidays because even though we're not here, we actually do take a break. But um, we have we have a lot of content we've been preparing. Hi, Texas. Hi, Jersey. Germany. Um, mm -hmm. Puerto so Rico. We, what do we have? We have. Finland's um, really excited. Oh, a Alfie Bo came here today to film his Ask I a Star. I got to hang out with Alfie Bo. Alfie Bo, what really a nice guy. Super sweet guy. So sweet. Super sweet. So he, he answered so, all your questions, and there were a lot of them. He was very patient. India, Australia. Well, people are just oh my saying, God, it's like on. a game. I believe the person from Long Island. That's so we I have mean. an <laughs> Sweden. So okay, so we have that Ask a Star going up. We have speaking of Hamilton, we have um, an episode of Side by Side by Susan Blackwell with Leslie Odom Jr. And they're doing something active. What are there's they doing? A, rock climbing. It's a secret. But because there's all the I founding just, fathers love to rock climb. I told the secret. I don't know if you know that. Uh, that Hi, oh my God! Has anyone seen on your feet that little girl, Alexandra Suarez? Alexandria. Alexandra Suarez. Suarez. So oh my God! Sweet. She's amazing. She's a fresh face. These are things just coming up you might coming want to up. see. Not, not, not Any here. Legally Blonde fans, because we have a fun video with Laura Bell Bundy. I interviewed Laura Bell to talk about what she's up to. Did you bend and snap with her? <laughs> no. And What's that would be Orfe. Uh, Orfe was I the bend and snapper. I know. And um, you interviewed uh, Jefferson Mays, who's, yeah. you know, uh, Gentleman's okay. Guide is finally closed. Mm -hmm. Not finally, but you know, it's had a big run. It's closing. He's so busy. That it's guy. closing. He's a really and uh, guy. so you caught up with him. I got to go to his dressing room. I love going to dressing rooms. Yeah. The glamour in these well, tiny little boxes. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, so what else is going on? Is there any news today? Oh, there's also a fun. I did a fun one. I, you know, I covered the Fiddler opening and I did a little video talking to all the guys about their beards. Because I'm, I'm you mean fascinated. facial hair beards or yeah. something else? Because when I saw the show, I was so mesmerized by how much hairiness there was in the show. You so, were mesmerized, but I was crying and like um, into the story. You were it's mesmerized. It's the hairiest by the group on. Although there are some girls playing guys in that show, huh? Shh. Secrets fake, of Fiddler. There's a couple fake beards. Um, uh, what's in the news today? Fake beards. Oh, so uh, you know what? We have an interview going up tomorrow with. Um, you know, we do a Q&A from London every week. Yeah. And tomorrow we have one with Savannah Stevenson, who plays Glinda, Glinda. right? Yeah. In Wicked. And, and she's been Glinda for a while. She's okay. great. Well, I was, the one thing I found really interesting about this interview is that she, um, she's the Virgin Mary in Times Square right now. There's a billboard a in Times Square. A billboard. She's not the Virgin Mary no, in Times Square. No, she's not weird. like next to the those characters. No, she's yeah. not next to the naked cowboy. So Glinda and the Virgin Mary have, like, it's like a double life. I like it. Yeah, mm. so it's yeah, it's like this, her, it's a big it? billboard in mm -hmm. Times Square. So look for that, and then think like, wow, that's Glinda. It's kind of weird. It's, it's very weird. Yeah, it's strange. But I like it. Uh, Ryan Silverman, you guys know him. He was in Chicago and Sideshow, right? Mm -hmm. He's gonna, he's going to Paris. Someone else is going to Paris. 
Beth is going to Paris. I am. I'm going to go see Singing in the Rain. At the Theatre de Châtelet, which is where we saw American in Paris. It is. And you are going to see Singing in the Rain. Right. And now they're doing Passion. And Ryan Silverman will so be I get to go Sondheim's back. Passion, so and that's in March, and he's doing it opposite Natalie Dessay, who I think is a big deal in Paris. I'm sure she is. She they went from French. Paris. Why is anyone from France on here? I thought it was an international crowd. <laughs> um, um, dad, remember when they did that Daddy Long Legs um, live stream? Live stream. Mm -hmm. Apparently, over 150,000 people watched it, which is really? amazing wow, because amazing. that theater holds like 32 people. Not, I mean, that's an exaggeration, but it's like 100 seats, maybe. It reached a bigger audience. It's a tiny theater, so that, that Daddy Long Legs would have had to run how many years to reach... How good are you at math, Beth? Not good, and now I've got glitter all over me. Anyway, it's, it's, it, was, it, was a big, it was a big success. Mm -hmm. Big success for the show. That's great. Um, speaking of Off-Broadway, The Marvelous One Dretz is coming back, which is that like girl group show, right? Girl group. Say? Kathy Breyer is going to be in it. Remember, she was in yeah, Hairspray. Yeah, I remember Kathy Breyer. She was Tracy uh, Turnblad in Hairspray. Mm -hmm. she, she was a soap actress, right? She had like a big soap. I only know about I Broadway. I don't know about soap. Remember soap operas? No, what? There should be a thing. Oh. So that starts in March oh. at Theater Row. Well, Natalie's a big deal in the opera world. We're being informed of things right now. Oh, see, I love Marvel's Wonderettes. I think it's done regionally a lot. So I'm sure there are people here who maybe have performed Marvel's Wonderettes. Yeah. Have you heard of the Amelie musical? We have, have heard of it. I saw it actually in Seattle. There's a French theme running through. And we're waiting to see if it comes to Broadway. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, Jay Lynn Ray Music, who's like, I'm literally just here for the Hamilton. Oh, sorry. Sorry, we're boring you. Excuse um, him, I, I Actually, our final news item is that Hamilton was the most tweeted. It, it, there were a million, over a million tweets in the last year. Just from Broadway.com? About Hamilton. It feels like just from Broadway.com about him. <laughs> a lot of them were. The runner up, the, let's see, uh, 323,000 people tweeted about the Tonys, including us. Yeah. And 226,000 people tweeted about Fun Home, including us. Yes. But the winner was Hamilton because Not I don't know if you guys know, but a lot of people are talking about this show, this Hamilton show. Yeah. And a lot of people are tweeting about this guy that I'm going to bring in. The $10 founding father without a father on certain performances? Yeah. That well, guy? We're going to talk about that with him. So, okay. um, Oh my um, gosh. You're going to kick me out now, aren't you? Sorry, Beth. I'm sorry. That, that, there's a hot seat there for Javier. That's right. Well, goodbye, everybody. All right. I'll see All right. you in two thousand and sixteen. Let's bring him in. Javier, come here. Bye. Come here. Come here. Thank you, Beth. Round of applause. Hi, I'm gonna move this tree. Yeah, I like the How tree. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm great. So good to see you. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> My guess there's a lot of so Hamilton cool. fans wow. in the house. Yes. Look, see. Hi. See, see this? <laughs> um, you must feel like you're in like the hottest thing. Yeah. Going. I mean, come on. What a, what a yeah. good game. First of all, I saw you in In the Heights. Awesome. Thank you. You were you. wonderful in In the Heights. Thank you very um, much. You, did, you, did you originally understudy and then take over? Or? That was a little different. Uh, in this case, in Hamilton, I've got a one scheduled show a week with, with uh, In the Heights. It was just whenever Lynn was out. I was right. just understudy. And then I was you in took the over. Yeah. And, then you, and then you did the tour. Uh, no, I didn't do, you the didn't tour. do the tour. I stayed here. I just took over for you did about it for a, a long year. time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I was with the show for two years on Broadway. Oh my God. Yeah. And you were wonderful. Thank you. So <laughs> so let me tell you, so then when Lynn writes Hamilton, yes. so then is it kind of like, you know, you like text him or whatever and say like so <laughs> well, I wish no. <laughs> You, I could do it too. Obviously, <laughs> no. obviously, you have the skills. Right, right. You have the skills to, yeah. to perform. I mean, I don't think anyone can do that. But. No, I mean, you'll be surprised. It's, it's, you know, there's, there's a good field out there of talent for this. But, but, uh, but Lynn, Lynn, and I go way back, and so it's sort of like uh, he gave me a call. I got a voicemail, and he was describing what the project was on the voicemail, and I, and I remember like listening to that and being like. Okay, this doesn't sound like it's gonna be good, but, but <laughs> really? it's Lin Manuel, so I've got right. to say yes. And then I get there, you know, and then I, I sit in the room, we get the music, we get the material, and like from get, it's like this is amazing. Yeah. What and and not knowing what it was gonna be yet, it was still called the mixtape. Right. It was still just a handful of songs, and uh, and here we are, you know, we, it's amazing. the whole way. <laughs> so you you do the show every Sunday matinee. I do, yes. And then you but you've been on for other performances too. Like you you yeah. performed for the Obamas. I did for the president. Actually, my very first Broadway performance in the role of Hamilton was for the president of the United States. So how are you, so and you knew he was there obviously. I did. Yeah, it, it wasn't was a, a secret. There's a few I mean, guards like and security. High security. Yeah. 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 Uh, so did you get frisked like four times before you yeah, went on stage? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Maybe while well on stage. Was that terrifying or was that exhilarating or all of the above? I tell you, um, I've been I've been told I have uh, ice in my veins. I was not nervous. I was not wow. nervous. I, if anything, it was it was really about 
like Lynn had three opportunities during previews to see the show. Okay. And so it was my responsibility to deliver my absolute best for him to see the show and see what he wants to tweak and change right, and, right. and and and, and right. rewrite or or leave alone. Right. And so that was my priority. That was my first responsibility. And really, like all the security and all the stuff around the president was 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 like, I know he's the, he's here, but he's not my right. first priority. You know, right. my first is to Lynn, and so. That's what I focused on. And then afterwards, when I got to meet him, was when it was like, whoa, you're the freaking president. This is crazy. You know, so that what was awesome. Say? What did he say? What, did it, what was that moment like? He, um, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll never forget it. Um, he was talking to folks. Like, if I'm if I'm here, yeah. standing here, and I'm the president, um, and I'm like, you know, greeting everybody, and he just stops for a second to, to extend his hand to me and say, you are wonderful, and then kept going. And it's, and it's just like, it's frozen in time, yeah. just like, the longest two seconds that of your life was the president. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. So that was that was my brief interaction with him that day. Wow. But, People. Yeah. No. Word on the street is that you're a super sexy Hamilton. <laughs> yes. Apparently. I read it. Sundays read are it. sexy. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll be hitting the gym a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> what do you love about about this role? I mean, oh, this musical has sort of taken uh, you know taken over everyone's first of all everyone's iPhones. Everyone listens to it. I feel like I feel like if you could like hear what people are listening to on the streets. Right. Are, yeah, most yeah. people are listening to Hamilton, <laughs> um, but people. I mean, people are loving it. And yeah, I mean, yeah. what do you love about it? I, the first thing that I got to say I love about it is the diverse casting. Yeah, the diversity of casting. Casting that that really what was what it's what you're seeing when you come in and you sit down are the best people for the job. Mm -hmm. And it came down to that. Yeah, and I, I mean that to me is. I've said it before, it's like that, that's what I see when I'm taking the train, when I'm walking down the street, when I'm doing anything mm -hmm. in my life is that kind of diversity and it makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's really my, my first favorite thing about this is I'm up, up there on that stage with people who are at their absolute best doing exactly what they should be doing, yeah. you know, and, 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 and this, that's the, that's the greatest part of this for me. Would you ever want to perform with Lynn? Yes. Have you ever done anything on stage yes. with Lynn? Honestly, like we've had like a <laughs> handful of moments. Like we've had Gypsy of the Years right. or okay, yeah. um, um, or uh, Easter Bonnets together. Yeah. But like when it comes down to like this stuff, like you know uh, Hamilton or In the Heights, it's like I, I'd love to be on stage with him and like be able to interact yeah. with him. You know. So who knows? Maybe there's a maybe sideshow. <laughs> Which we've toyed with. We've toyed with, with that song. We might All right, what do, do you guys want to know? What do you guys want to know? Uh, uh, oh, my God. Look at these people. People people are blowing this up. Oh, um, you're so talented. Thank you. You knew that. Thank you very much. This person, Stephanie, will be there in March. Okay. Hey. Well, if you All go right. Sunday matinee, you're going to see this guy. What's your favorite color? That's an important question. Favorite color is rust. Rust. Yep. Good answer. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, will he get you house seats? No. This is just, oh, come on, people. Don't ask Sorry, me. I can't do When are tickets going to be available? Uh, um, what's well, your favorite Hamilton mo song or moment? My f uh, it is watching Leslie sing. Um, uh, uh, oh my God, the names just fly out of my head. Um, that song. Uh, act one. Um, wait, wait for it. Wait for oh, it. Oh yeah, of course. I will, I will, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what I'm doing in the theater, if I'm running the show with Lynn, like in my dressing room, if I'm, you know, sitting and having a meeting with uh, somebody or anything, it's like that moment comes and I'm somewhere, stage right, stage left, mm -hmm. or in the house watching him perform that. That's my favorite moment in the show. Favorite, bro first Broadway show you ever saw? The first one I ever, ever saw was Me and My Girl. Wow. Yeah. The Marquee Theater. <laughs> uh, wow, yeah. I know that. Wow, it's cool. uh, did you have a good day today? I did have a great day today. Thank Good. you very much. The subway was a little stressful. Yeah, the subway here, was right? a little. <laughs> what show do you really, really want to be in? Is there any show you're like dying to do? Um, Hamilton, and I'm doing it. Doing it. Yeah. You lived all your dreams. I you, mean, you need something for next year. <laughs> uh, uh, what's your favorite flower? These are very like dating I love questions. That. I um, love them. My favorite flower is a sunflower. Somebody wants uh, Hamilton Live on NBC. What do you think? Should we do that? Should that be a live? Wow. Um, that would be intense. Yeah, uh, that would be intense. But yeah, why not? <laughs> I think the ratings would blow up. I do you, so, do you wear a wig in the show? I sure do. Yes, I do. Um, I, I've been growing out my hair for about uh, about a year and a half, and this is all I've got. <laughs> so, yeah, I do wear a wig. Uh, favorite book? Favorite movie? Ooh, um, my favorite book is, um, oh, there's so many. I would say The Alchemist. 
my favorite movie. My favorite movie is. Um, uh, that's oh, that's hard. Question. That's really really hard. I no, have to no, think no, about no. that. I will answer that. Give me one second. I'll okay. think about that. <laughs> Um, look, they're pretty little, you got a little sunflower emoji. Thank you! <laughs> if you could play any other role in the show, which role would you want to play? I, I would be very, very tempted to play uh, um, either Aaron Burr. Yeah. Or, you know, let's let's get rid of uh, of gender here, and yeah. I'd say I'd say uh, Angelica Schuyler. Yeah, that's a great role. That's a good She's role. got some good songs. <laughs> uh, funniest thing that you've experienced at Hamilton? Anything funny happening with that? <laughs> funniest, funniest thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's Yorktown, and the lyrics are. Um, we will fight up close, seize the moment, and stay in it. It's either that or meet the business end of a bayonet, right? All that okay. stuff. Um, and I went, we will fight up close, seize the moment, and gay in it. And I look, and Sasha's like, I'm turned and looking at Sasha. She's gonna be, she's like, oh. <laughs> so just keep going. Just Apparently, keep going. it was a Freudian slip. Well, tell me what your favorite country is. Do you have my a favorite, favorite country. country um, they keep asking over and over and over. I find that country. Um, you know, I can't say that I've traveled everywhere I want to go, uh, so I haven't seen everything I want to see. But so far, I have to... Right now, it's the Richard Rogers Theater. That's your favorite country. I, th I think so. I think New York City <laughs> is my favorite country. Home of Hamilton. <laughs> okay, we got to let this guy go soon. Anything else you guys want to know? Uh, if you met the real Hamilton, what would you say or do? I would probably sit down and talk with him about the, the Reynolds pamphlet. And really, like, I, I want to know, like, like, dude, really? Like, you thought that was a good idea? Please tell me why. Dude, <laughs> dude, dude, really. First two words out of your mouth would be, dude, dude really? really? I love that. That's, that. that's the perfect thing to say to Hamilton. Uh, uh, what are you doing for Christmas? I will be in Brooklyn with my family. That's awesome. where I'm from. Oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you have any pre-show rituals? I do. Uh, I always eat pineapple before my performance. Wow. And I always listen to, uh, it's like a handful of songs that I shuffle through, but there's always at least two of them that uh, I need to hear to pump me up to just get me going. Absolutely. Wow, awesome. Yeah. Uh, 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 who would you want to do a duet with? A duet? Yeah. I this would um, be the final ooh, question. Uh, so when you would die to do a duet with? Oh my gosh. Honestly, like, yeah. like if I could, if I could just have my pick. Oh my God, I, <laughs> I, that's a great question. I would love Audra. McDonald. Yeah. Audra. There yeah. you go. Have yeah. you met her? Uh, like, like briefly once. You, you know? haven't told her you want to do a duet. No, I haven't now talked you, to her about now you have any duet possibilities. Audra, I'm sure, I'm sure Audra's watching. <laughs> Somebody just wrote, "Give period me period tickets period please." Well, Period. after I get some tickets for my family, you can certainly have tickets. <laughs> it is a hot ticket. It is a hot ticket. It's worth <laughs> the wait. And uh, if you go, oh, people want to know how Jonathan Groff is. How's he's Jonathan Groff? awesome. Of he's course. always he's awesome. He's Jonathan like. Groff. What's not to like? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. I'm so thrilled that you're, you're getting this amazing platform Thank and you. that you're so damn sexy. Up <laughs> sexy Sundays. Look out for them, guys. Sexy Sundays. I Hashtag. Mean. I love it. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And everybody, Merry Christmas. We'll Merry see you next Christmas. year and Happy New Year and all that. And we'll see you in January. Thanks again.